In this session, I'm going to explain about electroless plating of copper in the manufacture of double-sided PCB. We all heard about metal finishing, right? In that, electroplating and electroless plating are two important techniques of metal finishing. So before going to electroless plating, first let us learn about electroplating. It is the process of deposition of metal on the surface of another metal using electrolysis method. Electrolysis method is nothing but the passing a direct electric current through the electrolytic solution. So that metal's corrosion resistance improvement will take place. This is nothing but electroplating process. And electroplating with respect to chromium is one of the example for electroplating. Now let us see what is electroless plating. It is the process of deposition of metal from its salt solution on catalytically active surface using a reducing agent without using electricity. In electroplating, we are using the electricity, but here we are not using the electricity. This is known as electroless plating. Electroless plating with respect to copper or the electroless plating with respect to nickel are the examples for electroless plating. The electroless plating can be represented as follows. The metal which is in the ionic form is reacted with the reducing agent on the catalytically active surface. The metal in the ionic form is converts to metal form along with the formation of oxidized product. This is the representation of electroless plating. Next, let us see in detail about electroless plating of copper. In that first step is surface preparation or the activation of surface. So for the activation of surface, the object or the plastic board is decreased with alkali followed by acid treatment. After that, this object or the plastic board is activated by immersing in stannous chloride or hydrochloric acid at room temperature, followed by immersing in palladium chloride. In that way, we can activate the surface. Next is the composition of electroless plating bath. So, electroless plating bath contains the following compositions. First one is 1.2 gram per liter copper sulfate which is uh, used as a electroactive metal or electrolyte second one is 8 gram per liter of formaldehyde which is used as a reducing agent next one is 15 gram per liter of sodium hydroxide and 14 gram per liter of rochel salt which is used as buffer Next one is 20 gram per liter EDTA, which is used as a complexing agent. Here the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius and the pH is 11. This is the composition of electroless plating bath. Next, let us see the reactions taking place during electroless plating of copper. At anode, oxidation takes place. That means the removal of electron will takes place. Here the formaldehyde react with the hydroxide ion, the formation of formate ion and the water will takes place along with the liberation of hydrogen and the electron. This is the anode reaction. And at cathode, reduction is takes place. Here, the copper in the ionic form is converted to metal form by the addition of electrons. This is the cathode reaction. And is copper in the ionic form react with the formaldehyde and the hydroxide ion. This copper in the ionic form is converted to copper which is plated copper along with the formation of formate ion water and the liberation of hydrogen. This is the overall reaction taking place during the electroless plating of copper. Next, let us see the detailed explanation of electroless plating of copper on the manufacture of double-sided printed circuit board, that is PCB. For the manufacture of double-sided printed circuit boards, 
initially two sides of the plastic board is coated with copper for that the plastic board is uh, dipped in the electroless plating bath solution after that copper in the selected area is protected using electroplating and the remaining uh, plated copper is etched outside we can clearly observe in this figure thus the circuits are produced on either sides of the board later the connection between the two sides of the board is made by drilling the holes so by drilling the holes the connection between two sides of the board will takes place and in the last step activation is carried out and finally electroless copper plating is done through the holes we can observe in this figure so overall for the manufacture of double sided pcb the first step is two sides of the plastic board is coated with the copper after that the copper in the selected area is protected using electroplating and the remaining of plated copper is etched outside in the third step the connection between two sides of the board is made by drilling the holes and in the last step electroless copper plating is done through the holes this is the manufacture of double sided pcb